better part of 95 degrees inside the U Indy baseball practice dome on this late May afternoon. But the Greyhounds are more than happy to be sweating through another workout as a magical postseason run continues. Why has this worked as well as it has, and all of a sudden you guys find yourself getting ready to play some June baseball? I would say just like the camaraderie of the team. Like we all mess together so well. Like we all love each other. Like no, nobody gets left out of anything. Like everybody just meshes really well, and the love on the team is unreal. It's like a family, actually. Yeah! UND is returning to the NCAA Division II World Series for just the third time in school history. A stunning run through the month of May has led to what was an improbable prospect just a few weeks ago. You know, it's crazy. I don't think it's hit us yet. I really don't. It's just been so unbelievable, and we're just playing loose. We're having fun. We're playing the best game in the world, and we, we enjoy every moment, every practice, every lift, every bus trip um, together, and so I think just having fun and, and just enjoying the whole thing is, is, is going to do us really well. An early season nine-game losing streak had U Indy scrambling in the weeks that followed. They needed to win three of four in the final weekend of the regular season just to make their conference tourney. I'm a big believer if you're going to win a championship, you have to get punched in the mouth at some point. You have to give the players credit. They, you know, they, they didn't panic. They, uh, they got it turned back around, and we won enough games to uh, get hot at the end. And, you know, we, we here we are. What did this group learn about itself during that losing streak that has helped you in this last stretch of the season? Well, I think we just had to ask ourselves a lot of questions in that time and kind of reflect and really uh, think about what we can do better um, together for each other and uh, kind of always believing in, in each other and believing in the guys behind us because we are we are have a very special and talented group here. They would earn a seven seed to the seven team Midwest Regional and what has followed has been nothing short of amazing. Five straight wins over ranked opponents including a sweep of number six Quincy at the Super Regional. Clutch hitting, consistent pitching and the experience of that early season losing streak are all paying off at just the right time. Anytime you play together that long you're going to have good chemistry and like just guys just know you know, they know where each other's going to be. They know what they want to do, and, and that, that's really important. That's exactly what you're, what, you, what you're talking about. Like, if we were focusing on the past, like, like, we probably wouldn't be in the position that we are right now. Like, we were focused on one game at a time, we, and that's what we did. We took it one game at a time. The Hounds are the eighth seed of the eight-team double elimination World Series bracket, but being the overlooked underdog seems to suit this group just fine. It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of pressure. I mean, when we snuck into the tournament, um, you know, we read the NCAA.com's articles and we weren't even mentioned, which is great. We'll fly under the radar all we want. UND's World Series schedule opens against top seed Millersville on Saturday in Cary, North Carolina. On the south side of Indy, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.